Right. I want to give God praise. Let's pray. Father, thank you for bringing us here safe and sound. Thank you for the things you've done. Thank you for your revelation through this Gospel of John. Open our ears and our hearts to see you today, to hear you, to understand. In Jesus' name, amen. We're looking at little snip, snippets from the book of John. Uh, we started with John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, including your thing. <laughs> including your own thing. Your thing has been made. And without him was anything made that was made. You can't do anything without God. Minus God in your life is frustration. Without him was anything made. Your plans cannot be done without him. Your vision cannot be fulfilled without him. Your destiny is questionable without him. Your life is empty without him. I don't care whether you even think you have the resources right now. Safety is grounded without him. Because without him was anything made that was made. Look around you, look behind, look inward. Everything you see, when you take God out, it does not exist. It's a mirage. There is nothing that exists outside God. Everything was made by God and for God and in God. Scripture says, in him we live, move and have our being. I know what it says in verse 4. In him was life. What kind of life? That's not biological life. In, of, of course, it includes biological life, but that's a very small life because we are eternal beings. We're created in the image and the likeness of God. So it's not talking about uh, biological life alone. It's talking about a life that's deeper. That's eternal life. The name is life. That's Zoe, the substance, whatever. That, that, that content that is in God, that means God to be God. Divine life, divinity. The name was life, and the life was the light of men. A question, do you really have life? Because if you are not in him, you are lifeless. You can be in the building where they are worshiping God and yet you are not in him. You can even be a preacher of the Bible and yet you are not in him. There is a stark difference between those that are in him and those that are outside him. He said, in him is life. We need life for everything. We need eternal life to exist. Now, I love what John also said about this life. Because he said something in the book of 1 John. He that at the Son, he that at the Son, who is the Son of Jesus, at life. So, there are people that does not have the Son. He that had the Son had life, and he that does not have the Son, that's no more life. Let's look at it. He said in the book of First John chapter 5, verse 12, He that had the Son had life. It's very instructional. And he that does not the Son, he that had not the Son, King James Version of God, had not life. There is no debate about this. You either have the Son, you have eternal life, or you don't have the Son, you're only living on biological life. How many are living with their biological life? Biological life can be terminated any time. You either have the Son. There is no in-between. There is nothing like you know one thing, I believe, I don't believe. You know, uh, yeah, I took go to church. You know, I'm water baptized. You know, yeah, my mother was a pastor. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I used to love by the Bible. You know, I read it in scripture. I read it in uh, you know, the magazine. I watch it on TV. There is nothing like it. You either add the sun. And when you add the sun, you have life. You know one thing? Anything that doesn't have life, you know the difference. When you put a dead body on the ground, you know that it's dead. It, it can't move. The, we say, you see, this, when a body lacks spirit, it's dead. So... I want to ask you this question. In him is life, and the life is the light of men. Are you in him? What makes you think you are in him? He that at the sun. So the sun is someone, not something. The son of God had to live in you. And the son of God comes to live in you by you surrendering your life to Jesus. And the son of God comes to live in you by the Holy Spirit. He that had the Son had life. He that does not have the Son does not have life. I am praying for everyone that's opportune 
to come across this word today that truly you will have the son you will have the son by surrendering your life to jesus christ by walking with him you know what it says in verse 5 he said and the light shineth first john chapter 1 verse 5 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not you know the light god was talking about he's talking about jesus because jesus said i am the light of so what God was decreeing, let there be Jesus. Let there be God. Let there be the Son. Let him rule. Let him take over. That is the power, the only power that the powers of darkness cannot comprehend. In your life, let there be Jesus. Let there be the rulership of God's word in your life. Without him, was anything made that was made. The name was light, and the light, light, light was the light of men, and the light shined in darkness. Jesus shined in darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. Prosperity shines over poverty, poverty cannot comprehend it. Righteousness shines over sin, sin cannot comprehend it. Life shines over death, death cannot comprehend it. Healing and deliverance shines over sickness and bondage, sickness and bondage cannot comprehend it. Get to begin to study your Bible, start from the book of John of Matthew. See what God will do in your life. If you're in the area, visit us. Check our website. God Almighty will bless you. He is the Son of the living God. It is well with your soul. Right?